Hey guys, Alex here from Homeschool of Bel Air. On today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a closer look into my evolution, the journey of life. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to make this video not super long, but I do wanna give you guys a pretty in-depth look into what you get when you purchase the PDF. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of information as to what it is first. So this is something that I created with my kids in mind. It was something that I had been looking for and I was having a hard time finding. I also wanted it to be something that all three of my kids can work from. So it is not a workbook. It is not a workbook style of curriculum. The format is more of journaling, notebooking kind of style. So first, let me show you guys what you need. Right in front of you guys is the core and the spine of basically the only things that you would need for this curriculum. When you purchase the PDF from me, you do get the teacher's manual and obviously you get the student notebook in one PDF format. The spine for this curriculum is The Amazing Evolution, The Journey of Life, which is this book here by Anna Claiborne. For some of the journaling pages to extend some of the lessons, you will be needing When Wells Walked, and this is by Dougal, Dougal Dixon. So these two books are the only things that you really need to use this curriculum. I do give you, in the teacher's manual, I do give you a book list of the books that you need, and then optional book list. Um, the optional book list is just read aloud options. And let me share some of those with you before I go into the teacher's manual. So for optional book list, I do recommend The Grandmother Fish, A Child's First Book of Evolution. This book I do recommend if you're going to be using with younger children. It's a really fun little picture book. Another book from my optional book list is The Story of Life, The First Book of Evolution. This is a great little picture book. It goes pretty in-depth, actually, with some of the species and just different things that happened. Another book. Oh, sorry about that. So another book that I do um, or I did add to my optional list is Our Family Tree, an evolution story. This is such a cute little picture book also. And again, this is just to extend or to add any read alouds to your lessons. If you have older students, I do recommend Who Was Charles Darwin? Okay, so now let me show you the book list for the books that you actually need or the spine for this curriculum. The main one is going to be The Amazing Evolution, The Journey of Life by Anna Claiborne. And again, my curriculum is based pretty verbatim when it comes to this book here. Some of the pages I basically just redid. So as you're doing the lessons, you have an opportunity, your students have opportunities to just kind of draw or write anything that they're learning about. And let me show you real quick an example as to what I'm talking about. So something like that. So again, it's just more of a journaling style. So that is what this book looks like. So let me go ahead and show you um, for the other book in the book list, which is When Wells Walked by Dougal Dixon. And that is this book here. And again, this book here, I use it mostly with the curriculum to extend some of the lessons when it comes to when we're learning about certain species. And that is what that book looks like. So let me go ahead and show you guys what you get with the teacher's guide. So the teacher's guide is broken up into two different sections. Let me move to a clearer. There we go. You have two different sections. You have the section that gives you the amazing evolution, the journey of life, and then when Will's walked. That just means that in this area, it's going to give you for each lesson what book you're going to need for the said lesson. You do have four different chapters in 29 different lessons. In the back of the student book, I do give you some blank journaling pages if you choose to add or extend any lessons to your lessons that you're doing. Now, when it comes to the Evolution, the Journey of Life student notebook, I do go pretty verbatim when it comes to Amazing Evolution, the Journey of Life. I believe I skipped maybe one or two different areas in this book. But again, I do add these blank pages if you as the educator want to add a few writing prompts or just journaling pages for different species and i'll get more into that once i get into the student notebook so let me show you guys real quick the teacher's manual just a little bit more so the way that i broke it up again is you have one section for the amazing evolution the journey of life and then you have one section for when wells walked for each lesson, I give you the title of the lesson, what pages you're going to need from your 
Amazing Evolution, and then what pages you're going to need from your When Wells Walked, as well as what pages you're going to need from your student notebook. So let me share with you one lesson so like that you can get a better idea and then I'll give you more of a in-depth look into the notebook. So let's do, uh, let's see, one that has both. Okay, so one of the easiest lessons that I can show you because we use all the components. So for instance, let's, let me show you chapter two, lesson nine. For chapter two, lesson nine, we're going to be talking about how humans evolved. You're going to need pages 44 to 41 from your amazing evolution, the journey of life. So let me open that up. So that would be those pages there. Now it also tells you that you're going to need from your notebook pages 28 to 31 and the pages in the student notebook are numbered so it makes it pretty easy to find whatever pages you're looking for. So there's page 28 and then obviously that's going to go all the way to page 31 which is right here page 31. So those are the pages you're going to need for set lesson and then it also tells you what pages you're going to need from when Wells walked. From When Wells Walk, you're going to need pages 56 to 61. So there's page 56, and then obviously all the way to page 61. So now let me show you real quick how you would do one lesson using all of the components. So first, obviously, you just you would all you would have to really do is read your lesson. And then when it comes to the student workbook, all it is is journaling pages. So you get, um, for this actual lesson, I did some of the graphics for the species. But for the most part, you have blank area for your students to be able to draw their own um, species or whatever it is that you're talking about. And then you can fill out whatever information, like lived, size, and then any fun facts that they learned. I leave it pretty roomy so they can add whatever fun facts they learned. So let me go ahead and go back to those pages. So the way that I like to do it also is for some of the lessons I did add little activities. Like for instance, this one, when they learn about the Homo floresiensis, they also learn that the Homo floresiensis is only four feet tall. So I do give them a little opportunity to draw the, flo uh, the Homo floresiensis on one side, and then you can measure your student and then have them draw themselves side by side so they can see the size difference. Um, so I do add little activities like that throughout the student workbook. I also, now let me go ahead and just go more in depth with the student notebook. So I do give you copy work. So like that, some of the words that need to be defined are, I did it in copy work format because I know that my kids sometimes hate writing, but they don't mind copy work. So I do give a little bit of copy work. Um, this is my son's uh, notebook. So he has been working from it. So these are some of the blank journaling pages here. Copy work. Let me find a writing. There it is. In some of the lessons, I also give your students some writing prompts so they can write about their own experiences or anything that they learned about. Like I said, most of it. So I'm just going to kind of give you guys a flip through. Again, my son has been working from it. So you're going to see some of the pages have been drawn on. Um, so those are the pages that you would get in the student notebook. Again, it is not a workbook. It is simply a journaling style of curriculum. So now in the back of the student notebook, I think I mentioned it before. I do leave blank ones. And as you can see, you can add writing prompts to any other lesson or any kind of journaling pages if there's something you want to extend on. So that is the look into my evolution, the journey of life. That is basically it. And I'm kind of glad that this video is not going to be super long. I hope you guys enjoyed that closer look into my evolution, the journey of life. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free and list them down below. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll talk to you next time.